Welcome. We are going to install um, VMware Fusion on a Mac. This is the same process. If you want to download uh, VMware Workstation, it's free. So let's walk through the process. It's pretty simple, not super obvious. The first thing we want to do is go to broadcom.com. So VMware is now VMware by Broadcom. So you have to go to this location to get it. Good news is that the uh, Licensing is such that you can use this for personal use for free for both VMware Fusion and VMware Workstation. First thing you wanna do is when you go to broadcom.com, look on the right-hand side, you see where it says support portal. Pull down there, go through the process to register. Once you get this to registered, it'll work fine. So I'm already logged in, I'm already registered and I'm gonna click uh, go to portal. Um, there is a way to just go into this search bar and just put uh, how to download free hypervisor or hypervisor VMware download. But I'm going to walk through the, the place where um, you can get to any of the software by on the left hand side, click down software. You want to click VMware Cloud Foundation and then go to my downloads. You can get a bunch of options here. And it is pretty simple. So what I want to do is I'm on a MacBook Air right now with a silicon chip. So I'm going to go to VMware Fusion. Select VMware Fusion. I'm going to select VMware Fusion 13, the most current release. And then right now, so this is February 2025, 13.6.2. Select that. Now you can see here that we have all of that information. This is the, the current release. Um, the, again, this is for Apple Silicon Max and the Intel based. Um, we're going to check the MD5 hash to make sure what we downloaded is what we intended to download. But right now, let's just go ahead and click, click the cloud. And you can see that it says screening required. So I'm going to select that. It's going to say additional verification is required. Once I hit the yes button, it's going to ask me to put in my U.S. address, um, You know whether it's work address or your personal address, you fill that out. So I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead so I don't publish my personal information and I'll go to the screen after the personal verification is required. So after I've done the verification, it brings me back to this main screen. Now when I highlight the cloud, you'll see that it's prepared to download. So go ahead and download the software. Select allow. And we'll wait this one out for a minute. So the download is completed. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal window real quickly. Make this a little bigger with uh, command shift plus. Let's change directory into downloads. And we'll see that our um, VMware Fusion file is right there. So let's go ahead and check that MD5 hash just for security. So it's um, in a Mac, we have open. SSL MD5, and then the name of the file. I'm going to go ahead and calculate the MD5 hash. And you can see on the screen uh, that it matches. There's the C7 over there. So we know that this is what we intended to download, and it hasn't been modified. We'll go ahead and close out the terminal window. Let's go ahead and execute the install. So we're going to select where it would download it to, or I could go into the file. And let's go ahead and run that. Bring it over and minimize that. Double click to install VMware Fusion. Let's do that. Open it. On my other screen, I have my password, so I'll go ahead and put that in. After you've entered your password, it'll go ahead and start to install. Carefully read all of that to disagree. Select done. We can go ahead and select accessibility features if we want or not now. At this point, we're all set up and ready to go. If we looked at VMware Fusion to go ahead and select that, say about. We can say, see that this is the professional version. Um, take a look at the licensing agreement if you're interested in that to see what you can and cannot do. 
So now we're all set to use VMware Fusion. The process is almost exactly the same if you have a Windows machine and you want to get VMware Workstation Pro. Just go to the Broadcom site, same thing, cloud, hit the My Downloads, and then select VMware Workstation Pro and install. The next step is I'm going to go ahead and load Kali Linux into VMware Fusion on my MacBook Air. So that's going to be your next video. Please also go ahead and subscribe so you can keep track of some more videos as I post them up. Thank you.